龙的 Gay Games， 中国一定要胜利。很激动啊，看他很好，这么多人。I say release. 
Michelle is from Australia, and she's a uh, Olympic uh, medalist in cycling. Next to her is her fellow uh, Australian, um, as you know, Matt Mitchum, uh, a Beijing uh, gold medalist, highest uh, scores ever in the platform diving in Olympic history. <laughs> um, next to Matt is uh, Leanne Nodu. She's from South Africa. And uh, finally, we have uh, John Amici. He's a uh, retired uh, NBA basketball person, you know, from the U.S. We still need gay games because for the vast majority of people, and we're not just talking about the spoiled few like us who have been to the elite level, but those people who play in small cities and small towns will find themselves blocked from sport, blocked from the camaraderie that is supposed to be a part of sport. And that's why it's important to highlight the fact that A, gay people come in all different shapes and sizes and capabilities. And they aren't simply the people who hand you your drinks on air or powder your nose, but can also be elite athletes. And it's also because gay people deserve to have the opportunity to experience the camaraderie, the friendship, the bond that comes from playing sport that they are often denied in school, that they are often denied um, in amateur sports. Well, there's a lot of sports that have this, you know, macho mentality and a lot of gay and lesbian people might not feel comfortable in that kind of environment. Um, they might get, you know, victimised, they might get picked on or whatever, so they actually don't participate in school sports like football and stuff like that. My you know, I, I think the Gay Games is a great way for people to actually participate in sport where they might not normally have felt comfortable enough and hopefully this can be a platform um, once they feel comfortable enough competing in an environment where they are comfortable to then start participating in mainstream sports and then you might start seeing more openly gay and lesbian people participating in the Olympics. What is it like for all of you to be openly gay athletes? Um, when I was in my early teens and I was struggling with my sexuality and, and, and my identity and trying to figure out who I was and I wasn't totally uh, open and honest about who I was um, to myself and to other people and that's when I was targeted um, by other athletes, um, my peers, um, because they saw it as a weakness and so um, I took the opportunity when I changed my environment when I was 18 years of age, I moved cities, like I retired from sport for a year, I moved cities and when I did start up again that's what I took that opportunity to um, to be absolutely honest about myself and to be uh, to give myself up on a silver plate to everybody for everybody to see um, about my sexuality, about my personality, about everything. And because I was so open and honest, not just to the people around me, but to the media in Australia coming out before the Olympic Games, um, nobody, no media, nobody had any target any weakness um, in my personality and my character so they couldn't see my sexuality as being a weakness so I couldn't be targeted in that and having done that I've had received no no negative um, media about my sexuality or about anything because I've been so open and honest about my sexuality um, unfortunately it's you know it's not the same with a lot of athletes who you know who choose to stay in the closet for their own reasons whether it's their family whether it's their um, the law in their country but I feel extremely fortunate um, that my country my family my friends um, have allowed me to um, to come out in this way and to be totally supported I'm very very fortunate uh, for me it's easy uh, because I, I come from a middle-class background I work at the university so the neighborhood I live in is, is fairly kind of arty academic but a lot of people in South Africa don't live under those conditions. So I would say my lived experience is extremely different to a majority of the experience in, in people in the South African context. Yeah, thank you. I'm uh, Stanley Kledig from Queer Comrades in China. And I had a question for Matthew Mitchell, but maybe also for uh, the other ambassadors. Uh, you were mentioning before previously that you compete a lot uh, in China, but well, in China there hasn't been any like openly out like LGBTI uh, athletes. Uh, so my question was, uh, do you sometimes talk with some of the Chinese athletes you train with, or do they ask you questions, or how is it basically perceived, uh, or how how are you perceived as an uh, out athlete? All the athletes, well, yeah, all the athletes know that I'm gay. Um, they, they understand the concept, um, 
the it's very funny. The Chinese athletes are all very friendly with each other. You know, you see all the boys always like this. You know, and you know, I ask, oh, is that your boyfriend in Chinese? I know how to say, you know, ta shu ni de nan pang yoma. But they go, oh, no, 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 no. So like they understand the concept. They're not afraid of the concept of gay, but um, I don't think their culture and their law allows them to uh, come out, which is um, unfortunate for them. Um,我们跑半个小时了，我没错过。我八百米从来没骑过狗的人，我要跑五千米要命了。我一直在田径队训练到十六岁，跑步是看似简单，其实很复杂。
I am Calvin. Um, I'm from San Francisco, part of the Golden Gate wrestling team. I have a fair amount of wrestling experience. I wrestled in high school, college, freestyle wrestling, Greco wrestling, and now I'm also coaching other wrestling teams. A lot of people think it's very gay, and it's actually not. Um, when we get on the mat, it's all about you know winning <laughs> or competing, I should say. As opposed to people thinking that you know we just kind of go around and just grab each other or something, and it's easy. You know, it's a lot of hard work out there. Um, like I said, when I get on that mat, I'm focused. My goal is to take the person down in front of me and win this match the best I can. So I'm kind of in a survival mode and attack mode. So that's what's on my mind when I'm actually out there. My first experience with the gay games was in 2002, and I was Sydney, Australia. Um, somehow I got lucky and ended up with a gold medal. Um, and then the next following gay games is in Chicago. Um, again, I ended up with a gold medal. And here we go now in Cologne, Germany. So my name is Krzysztof Dobrogowski onklin I'm 31 years old. I was born in Poland and I've lived for the, in the Netherlands for the last 21 years. Um, I've been wrestling for the last six years or so um, and I wrestled in two different um, clubs, one gay and one uh, regular club. The gay club is, uh, you, there is, there is one whole part of yourself you don't have to explain, that's the great thing about it. Um, however, the level is somehow uh, lower and that's why I decided that I would like to go a step, a step higher and uh, enrolled for, a, for another club where indeed the level is higher. I think the fact, mainly the fact that you see so many uh, same-sex couples and gay people walking on the street um, in you know, real, real day, everyday life situations came all the way to Germany to wrestle and there were no girls here for me to wrestle. I was so disappointed I thought I was going to cry. So I get stuck wrestling with the guys and they're not always very nice. Some of them aren't, I'm not like I'm not as strong as some of them but some of them I, I think that I, like maybe if I was more experienced at wrestling I might have more of a chance. I just started wrestling in January. But it's so fun, it's so exciting, we're having lots of fun. There's always some sort of drama or something going on behind the scenes. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that, do we? <laughs> no. So <laughs> Oh, yeah, always. Oh, my God, didn't you hear about the guy? I think you were filming the guy who likes to come to practice without any underwear on. Oops, if something pops up, oh my god. Well, that will be popping up when he's wrestling me. <laughs> I think everybody should come to the gay games, because it's fun. That's all. I'm straight. Oh, I'm open-minded, and I like a variety, so I'm not saying that I wouldn't go have fun with some girls if it came up. Just hasn't come up yet. Maybe it will tonight. <laughs>
My name is Zsolt Virág. I came from Hungary, from Europe, and I'm participating here in the Cologne Gay Games and the, in the bridge competition. Yes, it's a sport. I think it's discrimination if somebody say that's not a sport. The heteros, the straight people usually say that why we need these gay games? Why, didn't, why isn't enough for us the, the normal Olympic? So this is the same discrimination I think. That's my competition is better than yours. So it's a hetero competition is much more okay. Or soccer or handball is much more better sport than, than bridge, for example. Competition is competition. That, that I mean, that it is sport too. I'm an activist. I'm working now for our gay association. So I'm a gay activist, gay part of the gay movement in Hungary. We are organizing the gay festival. We have a um, coming out website in Hungary, and uh, we have a storytelling program. We are visiting schools. Uh, perhaps the, a lot of gays. I like this this feeling. Everywhere on the streets are gays, couples, lesbians, couples, and so on. Everybody very nice and polite. So it's other feeling. It's a gay gay city, gay police. Uh 接待我他们对我很好 现在住在科隆因为有这样大的一个活动的话我参加的有跳水从开始到现在我们的组织都很不错我应该也要参加一个体育俱乐部
第一次参加这个 Gay Games， 呃，觉得特别好，因为这边。一个最重要的一个地呃，一个最重要的一个因素就是，在这里你觉得真的觉得会会很自由，也觉得很安全，不会有人会呃歧视你。你可以，你可以在这里，你可以呃，刚才我的朋友这里就是，你可以做，你可以做的很 C， 你可以尖叫，你可以，你你什么都可以做，反正就是成为你自己吧。我觉得这个太重要了。而且而且真是特别的有意思，啊，就是说突然间你觉得这个呃有这么一个星期七天之内，你可以整个天地都是你的，我觉得这个好像就是说让你从感情上都有一种特别让让你特别激动，哎，所以我觉得太好了，我觉得我们应该有一天在中国，我也希望在 Gay Games 还有其他 Games 在中国也要。呃，我们我们也这样的呃这样的活动就好。我打的是排球，哎、呃，以前呢我就一一直就特别喜欢打排球，但是因为个子比较矮，所以呃一般的这种呃大学队啊，他们都不让你打。但是呢，我觉得有一点最好的是，在 Gay Games 这里，其实你的水平并不一定要很高，呃，你的有有有的他有很多的这种呃。它有很多的这种等级，有有有初有有 C 有 C 级有 B 级有 A 级。当然，你就说，呃，其实参与太重要了，呃，就说你觉得自己是其中的一部分，这个太重要了。我真的是特别希望我们呃中国人，呃更多的中国人来参加。我们这我们在国内有成千上万的同志呀、啊。啊，那么我们每次，呃，那么，呃，我每次参加这种类似的这种运动会的话，我们中国这个这个代表团永远就是老是这么三四个人，有时候五六个人，这个我这我觉得，呃呃，太可惜了。他们这个 Gay Games 呢，就是有一点好，他们的确是他会给你提供帮助，比方说你有经济上面的困难，他会给帮你，他会帮你呃筹资啊，帮你出机票啊，或者说帮你找。找到这一呃呃，在这个当地给你找到这个呃助手啊，然后就是各方面他会他会尽力来帮你的，所以你有语言的困难的话，呃不要怕，来就是了。呃，你如果看到我，你就说你就跟我说中文，我说我就我我在语言方面肯定能帮你的忙的。呃，那么其他中国人肯定也会帮。呃，那么大家其实都在一起，大家的确。都真是有一种兄弟姐妹的一种感觉。演员那当然有了，<笑>那这边呃，当然你不能是呃，我吧还比较比较传统哈，呃，就说，当然你这这东西你传统，你传统也好，你比较。呃，你比较，哎，怎么说呢？比较放荡也好，其实无所谓的。人生大家都是活一次，你就说，尝试各种的东西，然后选择，呃，对自己最好的，我觉得太重要了。嗯、呃，这边哇，这边我觉得这同呃，同志们应该要来。这边那些美女多呀，然后就是美男呢更多。各个各个身材也好，然后那个，然后就特别的好看，然后哎呀，那我觉得到这里真是特别开眼界，大家一定要来。